Hey everyone, Greg here with Science Studio, and yes, I have another PC build to show off to you guys. It's sitting here in the studio, it's right behind me. It may look familiar because I'm featuring the same NZXT S340 case as the previous Intel Skylake i3 build, only this one is in the glossy black color instead of the glossy white color. So yes, it is a new PC and it's actually featuring parts that I've never used in a PC I've ever built before. So let's go ahead and get right into the specs. For the first time in my existence, I've purchased an Intel Core i5. Yes, ooh, ah, an i5, a true quad core. I've always gone with i3s. I always thought that i3s gave you the best bang for the buck. But we will see in another video of which the link will be right here when that video is uploaded. Go ahead and click that. If it's there, if it's not, I'm sorry, it will be there shortly. I3s usually are the best bang for the buck, but in maybe this case, the i5 is worth the extra 50 to $60. So what i5 did I go with? I went with an i5-6400. No, I did not go for the i5-6600K because for the simple reason that I didn't feel that a $100 premium justified just an unlocked multiplier. I know it's going to overclock a bit better than the 6400 will. I mean, the 6400 is not even designed to be overclocked, although it does turbo boost quite well. Uh, I just... Figured I would, you know, overclock it using the base clock method and save a hundred bucks that way, you know, invest that into like a cooler or something, uh, which I actually didn't do. The stock cooler is doing just fine. And I am running that CPU currently at this moment at four gigahertz, stable. I've played games with it. The CPU fan does get a bit loud, but I mean, that's what I get for not purchasing a CPU cooler up front. So I'll have to do that very soon, but it is running stable at four gigahertz on air with a stock cooler. So if you're curious about how these processors overclock using the base clock method, yeah, you can get to four gigahertz most of the time, very stable. That's all I'll really say about that. But okay, so I overclocked the CPU. Well, how did I do it? What motherboard did I use? I decided to use the exact same ASRock Z170 Pro 4 motherboard that I have used in the past. So this ASRock motherboard has a lot of great features, 5.1 surround sound, AMD Crossfire. I actually, I didn't go with an AMD graphics card for once. Uh, yeah, that's surprising, especially if you know me, I usually go for the more budget-oriented AMD GPUs, but in this case, I wanted to test out NVIDIA, and I figured I could make a cool video or two comparing the card that I have now and the card that I had in the past. So if you're tech-savvy, you probably know which card I'm talking about that's in there right now. I'm not going to tell you yet. But anyway, the motherboard's great. I painted it. I used the same painting process as before, so I used the white Plasti Dip that I purchased from Lowe's. Thank you, Lowe's, for that expensive Plasti Dip. And I also, this time, used a glossy Plasti Dip finish, so it made it look a little shinier than usual. That was cool. I think I'm going to keep doing that. I like the shiny appeal, especially with those NZXT LEDs in there. And yeah, it just, it looks great in the case. I think a white and black color scheme is awesome. If you hate it, get over it. White and black's cool. It's just cool. I also slapped in some PNY Anarchy DDR4, yo, at 2400 megahertz in dual channels, you know? So yeah, they're fancy looking rims, you know? I mean, dims, they're fancy looking dims. And I uh, got them for a pretty cool price, $40 on Newegg. Check that out. But okay, enough of the fuss. What graphics card did I choose? Well, I chose a Zotac. Yeah, a Zotac. NVIDIA GTX 960 4GB graphics card. And let me tell you, I am very impressed with how well this card holds up in games. I am very impressed. I expected this card to underperform compared to the R9 380 4GB card that I had in my i3 build. But, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm using an i5 as well. i5s do make a difference, but this card is doing very well. In fact, it mirrors and sometimes surpasses the R9 380 in gaming. And I will show you that in another future video. If that video is not here right now, it is coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. But if it's there, go ahead and click it. But anyway, on top of that, I've got a Kingston SSD in there for a boot drive, just 120 gigabytes. It does quite well. Boots up in like three seconds. It's crazy. I love SSDs. I will never not go with an SSD ever again. And also I have a 320 gigabyte Caviar Blue hard drive. Yeah, that's the same one that I've used for the past like three or four or five years or whatever. The one I bought from Best Buy. I always keep that thing. Whenever I get rid of my other computers, I pull that hard drive out because there's all my games on it. And I don't feel like reloading all of those games from Steam. So it saves me a lot of time and it's just a quick, you know, insert and excerpt. Excerpt? Insert and extract? I don't know what word I'm looking for there. 
Back to the paint job for a sec, I decided to paint the fans as well for the first time ever. I painted all parts of the Intel fan, you know, the stock fan that's included with the CPU, and uh, it's holding up quite well. I mean, I, even the blades themselves uh, were painted and they, they turn. I don't notice any like drag or clicking noises going on inside of there. So I think the painting process was okay. I didn't put too many coats on the fins themselves, so they, they, they still turn adequately, I would say. Uh, but as for the NZXT fans there in the front where it looks like a radiator should be, I decided not to paint those blades. I just painted the frames and yeah, the paint job on those are a little rustic. They're not the most professional, but eh, from the side, they're mostly white and provides a great contrast to that black glossy finish around the outside of the NZXT S340 case, which I love by the way. It's a great case, has a huge window. You get to show off all the goodies inside. No, NZXT is not paying me for this little insert, but man, I love their case. So that's about it, everyone. I don't want to keep you for too long, but I did want to show you that yes, I did purchase a new computer, and yes, I am sporting that i5. You can see that i5 box is up there. Yep, it's up there. And it's it's a great PC. I, I think I'm an i5 for life now. I don't think I'm to the point where I need an i7 yet, but an i5 gets the job done. And yes, there is a noteworthy increase in performance from the i3 to the i5. How much of an increase? I don't know. And does it justify the price hike? I don't know. Well, if you're curious about that, go ahead and click on this link here. I already posted it once, but if you were you know, cool enough to watch the whole video, you can't click on this link now. Go ahead and hop over that one. This is Science Studio, everyone. Thanks for learning with us.